Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about packet switching. So the various topics that we are going to cover today are definition of packet switching, then about the working of packet switching, then various advantages and disadvantages of packet switching. After that we will discuss about the two approaches which are working under packet switching that is datagram approach and virtual circuit approach. So this particular video contains the detail about packet switching only. So you can refer to other videos for the rest part that is like introduction of switching and uh, other switching technologies. So let's move to our first slide that is about the packet switching. What exactly the packet switching is? The data are transmitted in discrete units of potentially variable length blocks called as packets. It means that as its name represents the switching all over surrounds the packets which will move from sender side to the receiver side. It is a di digital networking communication. Each packet will have the necessary control information such as priority codes, source address, destination address and the data itself. It means that when the packet will be moved from sender to the receiver that is from the source to the destination there will be a unique identity will also pass along with the packet and it will have the all the necessary control information like priority codes and after that it will have the source and destination address also and the data. So this, this switching is totally based upon the packets. So let's study about the working of packet switching. The packets with data and controlling information will be sent over the network from one node to another like source to destination we can say. Then at each node the packets are stored and forwarded. It means that the packet will be stored for some time and when the route will be free that particular packet will be forwarded to the other side. When the packet is forwarded it get arranged in proper sequence and its destination address accordingly. So this is the working of packet switching. Let's move to the second slide in which we are having one diagram and we can easily understand the working of packet switching. So let's say we are having four workstations like A, B, C and D. A and B are on the center side and C and D are on the receiver side. So we have to send the message and the message is divided into three packets we can say 1, 2 and 3 and there are various routes to reach the destination D. So A wants to send the data to D. How it will work? The 3 and 1 they are moving from the other side and the 2 packet number 2 packet it is going through the another route. So at the destination it will get arranged and in proper sequence then it will reach the destination. So this is the whole working of the packet switching. So let's move to the next slide. Now we are having advantages and disadvantages of packet switching. So what are the different advantages of using this technique? So let's read the first point. Devices with different speed can easily communicate in this type of switching technology and network. So the second point is security. Security is at the good concern over here in the packet switching. Then the third point, line failures do not affect the communication as there are multiple paths to reach the destination. It means that if there is any kind of breakage or failure in one path, the packet can move through the another way or the route because we are having multiple paths. So it will not affect that much. The communication will be effectively done even if there is any kind of line failure also. So this is the biggest advantage of packet switching technique. Then the fourth point. Bandwidth of the entire channel is used properly. It means that all the routes and the bandwidth will be efficiently used. Then about the disadvantages. 
what are the disadvantages of packet switching the initial and the configuration cost so we have studied that we are having multiple paths and for the multiple paths we need some configuration also so this can be the disadvantage of packet switching that we need some initial and configuration cost then the second point if the packet is lost then sender has to resend the packet so that the packets can be arranged in sequence and reach the proper destination according to the requirement in the network so let's move to the next slide now we are having two types datagram approach and virtual circuit approach in datagram approach packets are treated independently from all others even when one packet represents just a piece of multi packet transmission a network treats it as though it existed alone so this was about the datagram approach the next we are having virtual circuit approach in virtual circuit approach the relationship between all the packets belonging to a message or a session is preserved it means that we have to store the packets for some time the second point is a single path is chosen at the beginning of session to send the data all the packets will be sent through it it means that at the beginning only the session is chosen so that the data can be sent from source to the destination so these are the two types under packet switching that is datagram approach and second one is virtual circuit approach so let's move to our next slide now we are having some mcqs related to the same topic the first question is in which switching technique the communication is not affected by the line of failure and the various options are packet switching circuit switching path switching and message switching actually path switching the option number 3 path switching is not at all the category of the switching technique so what is the correct answer for this question the answer is packet switching so the question number 2 data packets are stored and forwarded to a particular destination in a network in the various options are circuit switching message switching then the third option is protocols and the fourth is packet switching so what could be the answer for this question the answer is option number 4th that is packet switching so what are the different topics we have covered today that is packet switching working of packet switching advantages and disadvantages of packet switching then about the two types that is datagram packet switching and virtual packet switching so this was all about the packet switching thank you so much